I'm been wanting to make a flag out of wood. So here's my dilemma. My brother gave me a template for my router to make stars that he had made. And using the template bushing on my router, I do it without the sleeve and it comes up with a star this size. Now, when I tried to make the inside stars, they just not looking too good. I don't, I'm not very pleased with them at all. Uh, but that's probably because these template bushings are really not intended to make such sharp corners. But th without the bushing, it made a star that was pretty close to perfect and I'm very pleased with it. But it's two and three eighths inches in diameter. When I use the bushing, I kind of like this star too. However, I don't think I'm gonna be able to recreate the inside star at all with this. More to, on that in a moment. So this is one and a half inches in diameter. Now, as per flag code, one and a half inches diameter, and the star diameter is 0 0.0616 in the ratio of the height of the flag, which makes the height uh, 24 inches and 24.35 inches tall, and width is 46.265 inches wide. It's a 1.9 wide of the height. So that is actually not too terribly bad for a wooden flag in my opinion. However, with the larger star, which I like a bit better, it's 2 and 3 eighths divided by 0 0.0616, which comes up with a height of 38 inches 55 and width of 7324, which is almost the size of a piece of plywood. And it's shy of it, you know, uh, 48 by 96 versus 38 by uh, 73, but still, that's a pretty decent size flag. So I've got two options. I can try to have him make another star that's a little bit smaller than the one he gave me and then use that without the sleeve on the bushing or and this is a thought too because this will be a lot of savings I just could fill each one of the stars with white epoxy and uh, we kind of want the stars to be pretty white anyways uh, that is an option and I could do both sizes uh, I'm gonna have to think about this for a little bit but this is my very first attempt at this type of woodworking so um, I think I'm pretty pleased with the way it came out as it is using the inlay bushing on my router I took off the sleeve on the inlay bushing and I'm going to use what my brother had as an original design of a guide so each point of the star will be identical however it ended up being a little sketchy to do because the guide wanted to move a little bit and it made the star way too small. Actually, the bushing had slipped in the base plates. I tightened it down a little bit better and continued on.
the diameter of the star with the inserts on the template turned out to be rather small. It was less than half of an inch in diameter. I kind of was a little nervous while using this. It just felt like one of those things with woodworking. You say, uh-oh, I better not do this. So I decided to go ahead and try the star template without the insert and use my bushing and it has a sleeve on it so I this one I'm doing with the sleeve removed and then I did another with the sleeve on as you saw earlier in this video. All in all, this star template that my brother made for me worked out really well. I'm very pleased with it. I'm very thankful for his efforts in making it. And uh, maybe my next project might be making that flag. Stay tuned. Finally, just remember, after every woodworking project, you should always count your fingers. You end with 10. Good job.